Hello and welcome back to the Twelfth Man YouTube channel. Today I'm back with Carl, um, a previous uh, guest that I've had on the show before. And today we're going to talk about the upcoming fixtures this weekend. So we'll start with the early kickoff on Saturday, which is Leicester versus Stoke. Um, so Carl, obviously Stoke are on a sort of mixed bag run of form. Um, now Lambert's come into the club and Leicester... I believe are on a pretty poor for a uh, poor run of form. I know they lost um, to Man City away, but then again, that's that's usually a given for any team at the moment. They lost five one. So, um, how do you think the Potters are going to get on away at the Foxes this weekend? I think it's done as good to have a break. Hello, everybody. By the way, uh, <laughs> it's good to be back. So, yeah, I think it's done done as good to have a bit of a break. They've obviously played FA Cup as well. Yeah. So. We're on pretty similar form after the last five. Was, we've both only won one, drawn two, lost two after that. Yeah. Yeah, they're not doing great. We're not doing great. I like to think we could even sneak a draw. Um, okay. Bit of a good omen. We've got Mark Oliver as referee, and we haven't had a loss with him as ref this year. So. Really? Haven't we? I'm getting jinxed, obviously. Yeah, you, now, you've, you've fucked that. that up big so, time. <laughs> so you can guarantee stuff again and lose now. Um, but yeah, I think. I'm confident we can get something. I don't know why. Okay. Maybe it's just blind optimism, but I kind of think, okay, these last three games, since Lam well, Lambert's come in, we've beat Huddersfield. Last three haven't been great. The ball, perhaps first half of Bournemouth aside, we were decent. But that was a bit of a Jack and I performance. Last, yeah. And then let's, let's not talk about Charlie Evans penalty <laughs> and the fact he was running treacle when he tried to do the rebound uh, the, uh, I yeah. think I think Charlie Adam I mean I saw a few things on Twitter people sort of blaming Charlie Adam saying that's it now that penalty could cost us this season to, you know in terms of relegation that's bullshit <clears throat> I know I know we've spoke about this you know before making this video but it's absolute nonsense Stokes performances this season have not been good enough from start to finish and uh, if we go down it goes down as, as a a squad entirety not just the fact that Charlie Adams missed one penalty no no definitely not so I mean I'll tell you what let's let's do a prediction after every every uh, game we talk about so I'm going to say fucking hell you know what you've said about the word blind optimism I'm going to fire this I'm going to say 2-1 Stoke really I am I, yeah I, I wasn't that optimistic mate I was going <laughs> to go for a nice safe draw uh, <laughs> so what are you going for a draw I'm going one all. one all. Yeah. okay Right, so we'll look at the next game. Uh, Bournemouth versus Newcastle. Bournemouth, Newcastle. <coughs> yeah, at Bournemouth. I think they're on the better form. Yes. They, yeah. There's something I really don't like about Eddie Howe. And it just annoys me. <laughs> but he's doing a good job. We can't really, can't really deny that. I think they've got, an, they haven't got a bad squad, Bournemouth haven't. They, you know, they've, they've got a, a, an half decent set of players. I mean, and they have picked up the odd decent result. I mean, I know they lost last time. Was it? It was two nil or three. And it was four. Was it three or four nil? Four one. Four one. That was it. Yeah, at it, it, Huddersfield. And uh, I mean, I wouldn't say that was a surprise result, really. That, that is their one loss in five. So. Yeah. And I wouldn't have said it was a surprise result. Huddersfield are at home, and yes, I know they're on a bad run of form, but at the end of the day, you the know, game, yeah, that's it, Ex exactly. And that that was going to be my point. Have, you'll always have team sort of picking up odd results, like yeah. Newcastle beating United and stuff like that. Yeah, it, you know, so so the sort of Newcastle, okay, they beat United last time out. So yeah, yeah, and. Uh, I mean, it was it was just a solid performance from Newcastle, wasn't it? That game was. I yeah. mean, I don't think Man United. I mean, Manchester United had some had some decent chances. They put them away. They're going to win the game. But similar position to us, and similar position to you know the likes of Huddersfield. The fighting relegation. So that's why Newcastle beat United for me. They did all the right things and, and picked up the right result. Okay, so result time. What are we thinking? I'm going to say a draw. I'm, I'm going to go home win. Bournemouth just solely because they're home really. Ah. Newcastle are not not fantastic. They could even sneak a draw. Mm. I'm um, gonna say I'm gonna say one one. I'd be surprised if Newcastle picked out not. Okay. Right. So and it's a long way back. So what are you saying then? You're saying Bournemouth? I'm going Bournemouth win. I'm gonna gonna go two one. Two one. Okay. <clears throat> right. Um Brighton versus Swansea. <coughs> right, this could be a bit of a tricky one. I think it could go either way. Swansea 
are on really good form. They haven't lost in the last five. Like, yeah, I think yeah. They're, 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 they're literally um, one of the informed teams. I think yeah. they're up there with like they, Spurs they, and Man City, they've aren't really they? picked up. They've beat some good teams as well. Yes. Well, yeah. big teams, should we say, not necessarily good teams. <laughs> they, they beat Liverpool. Yeah, uh, on, paper, <laughs> on paper they're good teams. Yeah. Um, And then, yeah, you're Brighton. They're, we saw last time out against us, they're not that great. No. We, we, we just win. We, 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 yeah, better than they probably are. To we be just weren't particularly very good, and I think Brighton. Don't get me wrong; their goal was fucking quality. I mean, the the, the, yeah. the build up play towards that goal was fantastic. But I think overall, um, well, they that, were pretty poor. We that, were pretty that poor. That was somebody with pace who scored, which we don't have any of. So no, true. <laughs> <It's> not, <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, it's completely. Uh, it's just. Typical real as my pace went through as much. Yeah, but Tim, I mean, <coughs> I mean, like I say, like you say as well. I mean, Swansea are on a good run of form, and I think Brighton. I mean, if if uh, Swansea can play to their full potential, I think I I, I fancy my fancy Swansea. I fancy Swansea uh, for this game. I'm going to say two one Swansea. I'm going to go draw just because I don't really like getting against home teams, which oh. which you'll see. Oh, right. get a bit bored of my so what? So what you're saying is you're going to be overly cautious. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to go draw. I think you game for a draw because okay, yeah. If, and maybe I should go on the pools for how many draws we might go here. <laughs> um, is the pool still going? I'm not sure, but <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to go draw just because it's at Brighton. Whereas. Possibly even away win. Brighton are really not great. No, I agree really with that. I agree with that. Right, so Burnley at home to Southampton. Right, okay. This, again, could go either way. You've, I mean, Burnley, Burnley are actually the worst team in the league on form. Currently. Um, is, is, that, is that based on the last five? That's on the last five. Okay. Um, Huddersfield aren't great, but Burnley haven't actually... They're the only team in the division who haven't won in the last five. Mm-hmm. So... They've sort of had that good start, and then they've they are slowly but surely they're consolidating mid table, should we say? Yeah, I mean, let's um, be honest, Burnley are as safe as ours, but yeah. because of the the, 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 the the immense first half to the season that they've had. Yeah, they're never going to sort of. Southampton are, are one Arsenal of the teams that they're, they're very similar to us. They're in deep shit. They they, they are for me, and uh, I know they they beat West Brom in the the FA Cup the other day two one, but. I mean, and yes, you get a bit of momentum from that. And I know, in fact, the last game they lost was, was against um, you've uh, Liverpool. At, you've got to look at who they're playing there. They're playing West Brom at the end of the day. Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. But yeah, Southampton are sort of not fantastic. They are no. 18. No. And they're in trouble, same as we are. They're in a very similar boat, <laughs> as are most of the bottom half of the table. Yeah, so, it. Yeah, so... What are you going for? Well, uh, you go first. I think I f- I'm going to say Burnley home win two one two one home win Burnley. That's what I'm going with. Yeah, I'm I'm going to go three one just to be different. Okay. Um, you think they'll yeah. score three goals? We'll see. Okay. I just want to be there. No, fair <laughs> enough. No, fair enough. Right. The next game is Liverpool at home to West Ham United. Right. I honestly can't see anything other than a home win here. If, no. if that front three are firing, which they probably will be. I mean, nine out, nine out of ten times. The West Ham are, are not great. I know they've turned it around under Moyes and they're on okay form. He's well, doing a good job, isn't he, in fact? But, yeah, something I'm still not convinced okay. um, with them. Especially away from home, I don't think they're great. No, I agree with that. Um, I can't see them going down, but I can't see them win Anfield either. No, I agree with that. I think. Uh, Let's just say Liverpool own win, and I'm going to say, I'm going to say three one Liverpool. Yeah, I'm going to go two nil. Two nil. I think Liverpool are a bit better at the back now that we've got Van Dijk in there. there. Um, and yeah, I don't think West Ham are that great. No, I agree with that. Oh, I think Bobber turn up because it's a big club, what she likes to do. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's yeah. against your minnows, it doesn't It's just do a it. shame he's not playing for one. Right, anyway, <laughs> um, we've got next we've got West Brom at home to Huddersfield. Um, this is actually, you know, in, in the grand scheme of things for West Brom, it, this is huge. This is the biggest game of the weekend for me. Do you think? Um, yeah. Just it, it says you're six pointer. Yeah, really. li- yeah. I mean, for um, West Brom in particular. West Brom lose this and they are proper fucked. 
the, yeah. the, the, the fucked anyway, but the proper fucked. Oh yeah, yeah. Something. I think I think this will be this. This is. I mean, obviously, it's not over till the fat lady sings. But this, these sort of games, especially when you're at home as yeah. well, you've got to be winning them. Yeah. Well, the seven points behind Huddersfield as we speak, and they lose this. Obviously, that ten points behind. The the done. The yeah. done. And you've got four of the players who are in taxes. The minds we haven't got a wallet anymore after game Barcelona. Yeah. yeah. There's keys. Poor Alan Pardew. Yeah. So uh, I just yeah. It's weird, I just lack no sympathy for him. No, no. Neither do I. <laughs> um but yeah, I think it, What are you going for? That's the that's the big question. I mean, I think West Brom, West Brom. I mean, they, they, they've got the odd d- decent player in there. I mean, Huddersfield. Let's be honest. I know they beat Bournemouth four one. They, but they were still... terrible when they played us. Yeah, place. they were. They I were suppose really it, it depends on which team turns up. If they, yeah. I mean, they're obviously they're in a similar position to West Brom. They beat West Brom. Yeah. I mean, they they could start dragging out of this Huddersfield. Seriously, could. Yeah. yeah. And. Uh, you know, especially when you look at some of the teams around them, the fixtures that they've got. I know Crystal Palace have got a, an horrendous run coming up. So Huddersfield winning games like this, obviously pretty much condemning West Brom to, to relegation. And it could it could be one of them results that pulls them right out of it. So uh, it is a huge game. I'm going to say West Brom home win. I'm yeah, going to be I'm, honest with you. I'm going to go away win because I think West Brom are that bad. Really? Yeah. I'm going to go 1-0 <clears throat> Huddersfield win. I'm going to go 1-0 West Brom home win. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's 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 all. It's it, a, you can guarantee this will be a draw now. So. Yeah, they yeah. won all. Draws. It's a game of opinions. <laughs> so, um, okay, next game. Uh, this is the R five kickoff on Saturday. We've got Watford at home to Everton. See, I get the feeling this is going to be a fucking awful game. Yeah. I mean, televised as well. I think yeah. it's a BT Sport job, isn't it? I mean, it just just awful game. Yeah. So you've got eleventh versus ninth. Yeah, they're both. For me, they're fairly safe. Like, I know people are saying, "Oh, yeah, Watford can get dragged into it." Mm. I, th- I agree with you. I think Watford I will be fine. I can't see if I'm honest. I think they've got enough. I do. But yeah, and form wise, both again very similar. But yeah, it's just going to be a bad, bad game. I think. Yeah, it could I, surprise us both. But it could. <laughs> I, I'm. I'm gonna. I'm going to go with a one-one draw. I mean, if we're going to be that lucky and getting two goals, but I think it'll be—I think it'd be a one-one draw. Um, I'm going to go one. I'm going to go Watford one 0 win. Watford one 0 win. Yeah. Then again, I suppose they did literally dispose of Chelsea last time they played at home. But uh, then again, I mean, Chelsea were down to to ten men. Oh, Ch- Chelsea seems to have turned the corner the other night against Barca. Yeah. They they've just been so bad this last few weeks. I don't know what's been going on behind the scenes. But... No, hold that thought because we'll talk about Chelsea <laughs> in a minute, mate. Right, so Crystal Palace Spurs. Crystal Palace are at home. Now this is when Palace's bad run of of game starts. So they've got Spurs at home. See, Spurs are the other form team in the league. Where yeah, they've won three, drawn two, they've scored ten. Yeah, and then let well let three in. Yeah. Palace, on the other hand, they're not they're not great. They've um, they've only won one out of five, and I can't see anything other than a away win for me. So no, those are just steamrolling no. at the moment. Palace they're, they're playing seem well. To be on a bit of a downer. Yeah, they're playing well at the moment. Spurs are, and I mean, you know, away at Juventus the other week. You know, you you two 0 down. You yeah. know, you you, you pull so that to back. come back from that. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, and I mean, it could have been a lot worse. I mean, if Higuain had smash that penalty away yeah. you know it would have been in fact was it was it 1-1 or was it or was it was it 2-0 were, were they 2-0 with were, 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 were they were you 2-0 down they were they go 2-0 down right. I mean if I were in to put that away it would have been a different story but I'm going to say Spurs and I'm going to say I think it'll be close I don't think it's going to be a walkover I actually think it could be like a 1-0 I'm going to say 1-0 Spurs yeah I'm going to I'm going to go Two one, two one. I was yeah. going to go for that initially. I'm just going to give Palace a goal because we're because we're at home. Okay, right. being generous. I get the feeling that these predictions that we're making now, that I reckon we're going to be way off both of us. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how Paul Mercer must feel every week. Yeah. 
<laughs> right, so we've got Manchester United at home on Sunday, uh, just before the uh, League Cup final, um, Man City versus Arsenal. So we've got Manchester United at home to Chelsea. Right, it's okay. This is obviously a proverbial big game of the weekend. Mm, um, yeah, I'd agree. Just club wise. These kind of games for me, they always just cancel each other yeah, out. Yeah, they do. And they end up 0 nil or 1 nil, or yeah. one all. And they're not great watch, let's be no, honest. No, they're not. You've got the Mourinho thing, with, and you've had all this with Pogba, where's his best position, which I, I do think has been blown out of proportion. I spoke to another Man United fan, well, a Man United fan, should I say. Certainly not another one. Um, <laughs> the other day, and and he was he was saying this, and I completely agree with him. It, it's just been blown out of proportion in the media. I think there is some element of truth in it. Yeah. But my opinion on this is why Man, a team like Man United, you've got Matic in there. Why do they need to play two holding midfielders? No, they don't. They don't. You know that's not the way that their fans want to play, and they like to play. No. And then you've got a manager. This is the complete epitome of irony for me is where you've got a manager who's moans about other teams parking the bus and then he wants to play two only midfielders. What's that? Well, yeah, and, and the thing is as well, I mean, this this whole Pogba um, ordeal, there's definitely something in it because, I mean, why was he left on the bench last night for for that young lad? Is it, what's his name? McT- Mc- yeah, they, yeah. I mean, I know Herrera got injured early doors, so Pogba came on, you know, pretty, you know, pretty sharpish, but... There's definitely something there. I mean, you know, I know the, the media. I'm not saying the media don't make up shit. I mean, they clearly do. But there's definitely something in the story well, with Pogba. Uh, and for me, he's not wrestling for Sunday because the league's gone. The league is. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it is gone. The it league's is. gone. They're safe in, in the top four. They're not gonna. No, I think. I think. I mean. So he doesn't need to wrestling for for Chelsea at home. He, I think they're but, either gonna finish second or third, aren't they? I, don't, yeah. I think he could even cross that fourth. Yeah. I think second or yeah. third, safe for United, and I think. The fans, I suppose, would be reasonably happy with that. Um, so, really, the Champions League for them is, is is sort of what they should be aiming for mm. this year. You know, to try, you know, to at least try and win it all the FA Cup or probably both. Yeah. And for me, nil nil at home. Uh, sorry, away at Seville is to go away in the Champions League and draw nil nil is not great. But well, it's they, not. They, they've even got to come over here and draw one all at Old Trafford, and, then and you're out. Yeah, yeah. It's I mean, I'll, I, I'll be honest with you. Um, I saw De Gea save, um, and, and I looked at. I only watched a bit of the first half, and then the second half. I mean, I, I looked at the stats on on flash scores, and I think, I think they had like, I think Seville had twenty odd shots. United mm. only had about six in the entire game. And I know Mourinho. He's he's sort of renowned for doing that. You know, he, he gets he gets the job done, sort of thing. And the chances are they probably are going to beat Seville at home, but. Um, it's quite negative. It's not you know. It isn't the. I know. I know. This is a bit of a cliche. It's not the United way, is mm. it? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I am going to say that this game is going to be. <clears throat> I'm going to completely agree with you. I think it's going to be nil nil. I was going to go one all, but yeah, I'd draw either way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say nil nil. I think it's going to be like say one of them games. It's built up to be an amazing game, and then it ends up being a draw. Right, the last game. Now, obviously, this has been rescheduled because of the League Cup final. This is on a Thursday. You've got Arsenal at home against Manchester City. So, a rerun of the uh, League Cup final. Well, just but in the Premier League. On, quick note on the League Cup final. I think we're both in agreement to... Uh, yeah, it'd be Man City. Yeah. Obviously, what happened at Wigan was a bit of a shock, if I'm honest. Yeah. Good game, but... Yeah. Yeah. Really, looking at the possession, they had like 80% possession. That's never going to happen. Well... It's not going to happen again this season. No, is it? it isn't. No, um, I think Wigan seem to be their 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 bogey side. To be honest with you, yeah. I think they. So Arsenal at home for this one. Yes. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say two one Man City. Yeah. Probably for both. <laughs> I I, <laughs> I think that Man City will win the League Cup final. I think they've got enough to to push them to to obviously win that. But I do think. I've got a feeling once again. I think um, I think it's going to be a draw. I fancy I've had I've chose a few draws already, but I do think this is going to be a draw. I'm going to say one-one. Yeah, I do. I think they're at home. I think um, 
eventually, Aubameyang, I think he's going to turn into a, a really good player. I think he'll be decent in the Premier League. I think he's yeah, going to be up he, there eventually. He as, will be. He's got to sort of settle in and that kind of Yeah, thing. yeah. And, um, I mean, they, they, they did well bring him in. Something that I've mentioned in previous videos. But, I do, yeah, I'm going to say 1-1 one, one draw. And I'm going to, I'll, I'll, I'll add to this, Aubameyang to score. <laughs> so, that's what I think. Okay. Okay. Well, Thank you for coming back again. It's been it's been good to have you on call, and uh, I think we'll have to try and make this a bit of a regular thing and try and get you do videos, and you know we'll 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 do a few more prediction videos and the odd podcast here and there. So thanks very much. Okay. Okay. Right. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe in the description box below. And until next time, have a good one.